Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Billish 55 or DPSRP patrol with Billish 55. Sorry, uh, my bad, I got that mixed up. Um, so we're going to be rolling in the Metro County area today. Um, we've got quite a small patrol one tonight actually. Uh, so only about, I think that's, that's seven, I'm not sure. Hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, seven. So yeah. Not sure if it'll stay like that, might get bigger, might get smaller, who knows, but uh, yeah. Uh, we're pretty late to patrol, so we're just going to get straight into it, guys, and uh, we'll go from there, basically. Um, nothing new to announce, really. Um, we've made a couple of new additions to our MLOs, which were recently reviewed. Um, and... We've got a couple more to come, but it's a slow process, guys, because I am basically, I am basically trying to buy them through uh, an orderly process without trying to bankrupt myself too quickly, because some of the MLOs we're looking at are quite expensive, unfortunately, but that's okay, um, because at the minute we're still on track for what we're looking to get. Um, other than that, we're just going to be rolling out in the Ghosted Charger today. Um, we've got... I think we are on radio. We'll just check that, actually. Jolly one mic check. Hi, back hey. Good copy. Jolly one, I'll be 1041-108. Active supervisor for the Los Santos metropolitan area. 1095 Lima. Or, oh, sorry, correction. 1095. Goddamn, I'm rusty. Also, nine one zero one. Go ahead. Just so you're in the loop, we've had a uh, hard stop at seven one seven two minor collision between a Landstalker and a BCSO on that. Received. Do you need me to attend? We should be sufficient this time, but if you want to drive over, it's your choice. Received. I'm a mile and a half away. I'll go code two to you. Alright, so, already something happened before that I wasn't aware of, but yeah, go check that out, guys. Not going to make a rush to it, but uh, yeah, at the same time, I don't really want to be stuck at red lights waiting for this, because it will probably be over before we get there, if otherwise. What is going on back there? Hey, one of the new additions we've got, guys. Mile High Club. Um, that's the one with the interior, so it's uh, it was quite pricey. Um, one point nine. There's a couple of you're not going through radio clearly. There's a couple of porter cabins that are still stuck there. It's probably a conflicted. Well, it will be a conflicting MLO, guys. I'm going to be looking at uh, figuring that out in time. Troubleshooting it. But uh, yeah. Bloody hell. That's almost on the other side of the bloody map, wasn't he? Ah, oh, dear me. What are you doing? hate it when they try and do that. Where did they say they were? Five by five. 
Were they in the cut? Did they say Plus they were in the... I want to want you to drive past us. Are you in the car park, Hudson? Yes, yes. There you go. I was going to say, I thought, you, I thought you meant the underground car park. Oh no, mm, come with me. Alright. Nah. Um, <sighs> yeah, uh, so, a quick rundown. I've had a mm -hmm. call come in regarding this on stock being stolen. Right. Followed, trailed in for quite a while on the city streets. They pulled into this car park. At that point, I had back up, so it was a hard stop, thinking the vehicle was stolen. Okay. As you can see, a little bit of paint transfer to the front left bumper here. Okay. A little bit to the back right wing on my Taurus. Okay. I found out someone from the medical center reported it stolen when it wasn't meant to be. They got permission to drive a car. Right, why was it reported? Do we know why it was reported stolen then? Uh, Stevens might have a bit more information on that. He went back over there to get a statement off somebody. Ah, right, okay, no worries. Is that Stevens over there by the Durant guy? Yes. Alright, no worries. Okay, no worries, mate. Thank you. So he's already got my insurance card for damages, so, so that part's covered. Okay, no, that's sound then. All right, mate. it was only my car what hit, no DPS vehicles collided. So, yeah. Alright, no worries. Leave it to the professionals next time, yeah? <laughs> so why are you here? How? Hey, yeah, mate. Hey. Do we know why the vehicle was reported stolen then? Uh, all I got originally uh, mm -hmm. was a missing vehicle from Pillbox. Right. Uh, then they called out that they've got said vehicle. Okay. So I came over here, uh, rerouted because I was the only un uh match vehicle. <laughs> You rerouted and didn't recalculate for once. Yes. Okay. Uh, so then I, uh, Hudson told me to go back there to get a statement, a little statement. <laughs> Fair enough. Which, which was, uh, the vi that vehicle, uh, owned by the. Pillbox knows it was owned by a doctor, but I'm not sure why it disappeared. Uh, and was last seen in the car park. Uh, and then I asked for a name, and it was Beckford, Beckford Silk. Okay. So, how right? So how come it was reported stolen in the first place, then? They were unsure who took it and all that. They thought right. a random person took it. Right, okay. And I'm guessing that subject over there didn't tell him that they were going to be taking the vehicle. Right, okay. Okay, dogs. No worries then. Alright, well, that's all there also, is then. Beckford, Beckford still is off shift taking a break from work for a few days. Okay. So I'm guessing she left her vehicle at hos the hospital for that subject to pick up at some point. Gotcha. Fair enough. Alright, let's see what I got. I might start clearing here in a minute, because, yeah. Yep. Also, I helped uh, R18 with Did the radio smell of death wing. Okay, awesome. Well, I'm sure it does. Okay. Hey, burnt bodies. Is everything resolved here? Are we all good, or...? Yeah, we're good. Yeah, cool. we're good. I was just... No. Basic, you know, small talk, waiting for you to finish up if you had anything. No, I got yeah, nothing. I John in front of me. No, I was just wondering if I need to come down for any sort of supervisor request, but... Yeah, if everything's handled mm -hmm. here, then yeah. Okay. What? What about who in front of you? Why is Elton John here? This guy? His glasses. Right. Hold on, no, I got paper to type up. Have a nice night. He's, Bye, he's, Donaldson. He's Elton John's little uh, lover. 
Have fun with those uh, diamond encrusted cock rings that I'm gonna end up on. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully they're clean. Yeah. Uh, uh, All right. They're not you, Alright, uh, Jenny, you're girlfriend. good to go. Take it easy, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for one point nine. Jump me back tonight. Can we have someone attempt to remove the Landstar Croft for your NPR, please? Won't work. Won't work until next shift, mate. Turn for. Just to stir the pot. Well, sir, that can we head to this beach PD for the quick shot? Hopefully, we'll make the eight. I'll be honest, guys, I really don't have a lot of things to say for once. Um, yeah. No, we've uh, reintroduced all the parked vehicles because we found that just the map just felt dead without... We did revise, actually, the AI script um, because the server just felt dead when we were... Also, I should have a speech of PD 10.6 paperwork. The server just felt dead, like, even when you were on your own, um, there weren't, excuse me, sorry guys, I've just had a load of Luke say so I'm a bit gassy, um, there what? hello, I never knew this was here, I'm gonna have a nosy down here, um, oh, it's, yeah, okay, um, yeah, either way, Oh, it's a one way as well. God damn it. Um. Oh, that's interesting. So, yeah, there's a plant in the way of that exit. Cool. That's always good. Um, yeah, no, the server just felt dead, so we've reintroduced the park vehicles, even though it does spawn the vanilla LEO vehicles back at the, um. Back at the, um stations like the police stations at DPS HQ and such the like however um, it for what it is where we can just literally use the menu to clear the area and it's no issue it makes the server feel a lot more full and we've also revised the AI spawning script so we've got calm AI in which basically assists us with Make sure all the locals don't go completely and utterly bonkers when we have a fairly chaotic call which involves shots fired or something that's going to spook the AI. I um, okay then. Um, but as you'll notice as well, we've got a lot more uh, sieves like pedestrians about and the variation to the AI traffic there's a slight variation now because we've added in a uh, AI script which well it's not really an AI script it's a script which um, messes with the client's population density essentially so for example you'll see occasionally like there'll be a security patrol Karen Dillantante about or you know some sort of commercial vehicle that you wouldn't ordinarily see um, yeah, it just makes the server feel a little bit more alive. Um, and then, obviously, when we've got the uh, map scripts, which make Los Santos feel just a lot more like Los Angeles, and it makes Blaine County feel like an actual different county in comparison, it's, uh, yeah, it's nice. Uh, who the hell is bouncing between Discord channels right now? 
Let me just check on my phone here. Oh my god, it's a party in Gen VC. Um, but yeah, guys, so we're going to be adding a couple more MLOs just for things to do, ideas, scenes, stuff like that. At the moment, the server is, I'll be real with you, the server's holding up to all of this. Oh, my, oh Jesus. The server's really holding up to all the MLOs we're putting in very well. Um, with the upgrades to the server's infrastructure and everything like that, it's just, it is a massive improvement in all fairness. Um, I do like it and um, we have now, we are officially moved away from Zap, everything like that. So yeah, no, it's, it is nice to be honest. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, uh, okay, well that local's not moving, so I'm not going to move. Oh, okay, oh, there we go, okay. This one was for straight ahead. So, yeah, um, anyways, as I was waffling on, like, yeah, we've moved away from, uh, Zap now. And we are on um, a privately hosted server by Hightower. Um, so he runs his own box. And it's probably the best move we've made, to be honest, guys. Um, you know, we're going through... We've got a server now that's put up to 128 slots. Not that we obviously need it that much at the moment, but at the same time, it just helps to sort of future-proof... Um, issues that could arise in the future basically but like um there's a couple of mlos we've put in and we're planning to put in more private residential type mlos in the future but at the moment we're focusing strictly on uh commercial based mlos mlos that will you know obviously for a like a public setting if you will just because obviously that's where most scenes will happen. That's how most scenes will happen. Um, but yeah, so for example, we got this MLO here, which is the little teapot. Um, I'm not sure if you can see inside it. It's a free MLO. It's fairly basic. I forget who it was by. But yeah, just a nice little cafe to stop off um, for Elio if they want to get a coffee as well. Or it could be a whole range of things. Um... Uh, we don't have an MLO for that at the moment. Um, and then I think we're looking at getting an MLO for the Bahama Mamas, which is back in Vespucci. Um, but yeah, no, other than that, guys, it's business as usual, to be honest. Um, Rockford Plaza as well. Uh, we're going to be hopefully getting a couple of MLOs for Rockford Plaza. In, in fact, actually, that's a point. I'm just going to nip down here because, because, because I have actually discovered a bug uh, with one of the interiors, and I'm not sure if it is tri being triggered by an MLO or by something else, but. I'll just okay that's not quite what I had in mind but yeah Jesus Christ shoddiest parking job going but yeah All right because I'm not sure if it was just the map or what um but yeah this seems to have fixed itself now um yeah this was knackered uh, one time when I was in server, and I th yeah, I would say it's relatively fixed now by the looks of it, which is happy days. Because yeah, this was all you couldn't see it or anything like that, so that's why I'm uh, that's why I was checking it out. But yeah, looks like it's all good. That's all good, and uh, yeah, on to the next one. But yeah, Rockford Plaza, fairly obviously, it's a bit of a hub. Um, the shopping mall at Ginger Street in San Andreas, obviously. Okie dokes. Um, so yeah, it's... Um, yeah, so we've got obviously a fair few 
Um, MLO's going in. Sorry, guys, I'm sort of waffling a little bit here now. I'm sort of doing my own checks while trying to talk to you guys, but yeah. So, yeah. Long story short, all is well. All is good. In fact, I'm not sure if I've actually showing you guys the all right I'm gonna take a right here I'm gonna go down to I'm gonna go down to San Andreas which is just below the shopping mall or oh, sorry just below the Del Perro freeway so that we can get to the shopping mall one of the vehicle control scripts basically just allows us to hold left trigger for example and it doesn't automatically throw us in reverse we just keep the brake lights on so that the car doesn't go anywhere that's pretty cool i do like that one to be fair but i barely use it because yeah i'm so used to it being the latter there you go so yeah that's another there's a, a demonstration of the population density variety that cab which wouldn't ordinarily spawn spawning so yeah but yeah I'll just quickly we'll just quickly go in here guys and I will give you a quick show around this shopping mall the other one I'm gonna be Doing a property check, 8020 at the shopping mall on Ginger Street in San Andreas. So these are the two, one of the many car park entrances, guys. Um, I'll go down here, show you the other car park entrance. Um, this also has a security booth down here as well, I believe, as well as ATMs by the looks of it. So yeah, if we come through this door, I think it is. Yeah, it sends us through a janitor's closet or a janitor's hallway, I don't know. And then security. Yep, security office right here. You can gain access to the car park or to outside. So that's all good. Bravo 144. Same time. Show me a 1011 illegally parked vehicle. B7001. No 32s are needed. Then come to the, well, not necessarily the top floor, guys, but the uh, ground floor. Well, for us Brits, anyways, this would be the first floor, I think, um, in America. So come through the staircase. That would be the main entrance if you're coming in through San Andreas Avenue. Uh, if we come around here, we've got 24-7 in here, digital den, we've got all sorts in here to be honest guys. Oop. Suburban, that's a bit bland, I don't know why. Toilets, um, I'll be honest, not gender specific, but I ain't too fussed about that to be fair. Just a bit of an oversight on the creator's part I imagine. Obviously your, flip, your food plaza area, um, oh, I wonder if you can go in through that door. 
I've actually tested these doors, so I'm kind of curious myself, guys. I haven't had much time to spend in here. Okay, so this is our... I see, so this is for the clocking bell area, I believe. Yep. That's fair enough. What we got here? Tango Alpha 149, uh, be advised. I'm oh going to be attempting to catch up to a high-speed vehicle on Carter Avenue. Ooh, hello. That's nearby us, actually. All right, guys, we're going to head to that. Thank you, I'm 144. You show me back to a county to arrive to go away with local people. Charlie, one tango off 149. You got a vehicle description at all? Hey, firm, it's going to be a black and color sports vehicle. Uh, last seen heading on Carson Avenue uh, around 110 miles per hour. Copy black two door. Did you say eastbound Castleway? Be advised, it's going to be a red, uh, not black. Uh, it's just turned right onto Davis Avenue. Charlie one, I've got a car alarm going off at 8170 Elgin Avenue at the car park there, but I've got no occupants with it and the vehicle doesn't appear to be damaged at all. Charlie one brake brake, I've got that vehicle northbound uh, Elgin Avenue towards the pillbox offer. 144 will be secondary, uh, 101 keep times up, I know we're trying to keep up Copy, we're going to be westbound Occupation Avenue. Stand by, I'm going to try and get a flight block southbound onto Power Street. Yes, yes, we have either got a flight block, stand by. It's going to be a westbound turn, San Andreas Avenue from Power Street offer. Southbound onto Peaceful. Oh my god, caution for traffic, been blocked in by fucking traffic. It went eastbound on San Andreas. Also, I'm going to the vehicle. It's going to be a pursuit. The vehicle is going to be heading towards the car dealership, northbound, northbound, on power. Eastbound now, back towards Mission Road. Got one secondary call on it. We're going to be southbound on Elgin Avenue and taking a eastbound turn opposing traffic Adams Avenue Boulevard, generally towards MRPD. Northbound now on Strawberry Avenue, opposing lanes and westbound on Vespucci Boulevard. Northbound on Elgin, westbound on to San Andreas. Follow on northbound on Alta Street now, generally towards uh, Vinewood area. Watson, watch your speed, please. Follow this shot, stand by. 10 seconds and 1.4. Follow the one, two, one point four. your status. I'm with him. You will be shot. Get out of the vehicle now. Get. Get out of the car now. What's wrong with you? Ready? Yep. We got less fun. Alright, mate. You reach or we'll be hit! Okay, watch your cross, guys. We're approaching to the time. Go. Got you. Is he conscious? I can't see the movement. 
I'm gonna check on the super in the open. He's pinned dead. Alright. Let's get this infection fully blocked so I can have to get counter fire out. DPS, Durango is your karma. Just give me a sec, I need to clear for injuries. Yep. Do me a favor, just check on Briggs for a minute, please. Or just see how I he is. He's all right. Okay. My head. I'm gonna get Squeaker 5 sent out. It's a, it's based yeah, your I DPS HQ. Uh, hang I on, mate. Alright, can you get some of them up here with a first aid bag, please? And also we're good. Yeah. So I see you to go a different direction. Different way, come on. I'm gonna go. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bottom line, that's DPS HQ for Squeaky Five. Jesus Christ, Hudson. Alright, uh, can you grab me a first aid bag, please, Stevens? Copy that. Cheers, mate. It's all good. We got one. Thanks, Storm. Okay. Um, how's Briggs doing? He's got a bruise to his head. Okay. And a no bleeding, but just a nasty bruise. Right. Okay. If his if his situation deteriorates any further than what it is at the minute, do me a favour and just run him in your car straight down to either Pillbox or Oceanside. In fact, Pillbox would be closer. Yeah, he says his head hurts quite a bit. Okay. Alright, well, keep keep obs on him for now, and Stevens and I will manage the suspect. But if he deteriorates, get him straight to Pillbox Medical, mate. No, no messing. Yep, understandable. Thank you. Okay. Uh where the fuck did he come from? Would a brute strength open? <laughs> I don't need glass in my eyes, do I? I feel like I have like a cut or something right under my eye. Oh, there comes Squeaker. Yeah. Squeaker 5 approaching for the north. That's 
extra safe. Just assess an injury. It looks like he'll be all right to be transported by county. Um, he's got a head wound. The bleeding's pretty manageable, but his left leg is pinned at the minute. I'll get some trucks and all that to get him to get him yeah. stabilised. Yeah, please, mate. Hey Briggs, how you doing over there? Uh, uh, about as well as I could be at the moment. Alright, keep talking dude. If you get any worse, Storm's taking you straight to PBMC mate. No messing, alright? No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I got you. Alright. Okay. Right. Talking. Alright, his breathing's, his breathing's laboured. Yeah, wheels are chopped. Cool, thank you. How's the dog? Is it coming now? Uh, opened a little bit, but not fully. Let's go check on Briggs, see if any needs to get him in the truck. Appreciate it, Hudson. Okay. Alright. His C spine appears to be okay, mate. Um, awesome. What I'm going to do, if we can, just get a C collar on him anyways, because then I'm going to. We're going to start oxygen therapy and all that lot first, and then I'm going to. I'm going to ask Hudson to start a dashboard uh, roll and tilt on the vehicle so we can lift that steering column off his leg. Sounds good. The steering column's been exposed. Let me know once you got that C, C collar on, mate. Start an O2 cylinder on him, please. Get, him ma uh, get his mask off and put a O2 mask on him. Start the cylinder at two liters per minute, please. Copy. Awesome, mate. Hudson, gonna need you back here soon, mate. Hudson, you got a hydraulic hydraulic kit on your on your truck. Same same kit that was another fire engine. What do you need? 
All right, give me uh, chains, please, as well as the hydraulic spreaders. Get the spreaders open as wide as we can, please. Taking the door off. Negative. What we're going to do is we're going to do a dashboard roll, t roll and tilt. So I want uh, one of the chains secured to the front end chassis of the vehicle, and then the other chain is going to be wrapped around the steering column. We're going to get the spreaders as far apart as we can, rest them on the hood, get the chains linked up to the spreaders, and then we'll start... Um, closing the spreaders and that should lift the steering column off of this person's legs and we can hopefully extract them out this door if possible. Gotcha, I'll get your things out. Thank you. Gonna try and get this door open even more. Yeah. Okay. Door's falling off. I think that works. What we'll do is then, uh, if we can, we'll uh, take them out your end, if, unless I can get this door open for uh, a bit more. Yeah. Alright, guys. Sorry, was I being too loud for you? No, 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 you're, you're fine. Okay. You're fine. What, what, what do you need? Uh, for now, um, R44 is going to be code zero. Never mind then. Alright, um, Storm, if I can have you with Stevens real quickly, please, because what we'll do is we're going to attempt to extricate through the passenger door, mate. Right. Hey guys, Storm. Hey, yeah, about mm. bought out the back of this truck, please. I hear the chains, spread it off and I can start a compressor. Nice one, thank you. <laughs> Alright, um, Stevens, if you can get in the passenger seat with him there for me. Sorry? Just get in the passenger seat with him uh, there if you can, please. Copy. Alright, compressor's active. All right, thank you. Say again, Storm. Do you want the back or do you want me to have it over here? Just have it with you for the time being, mate. I'll give me the... Can you go by ground to the hospital or do you need to go by there? Nah, he'll need to go by ground, mate, because he's got a head injury. Good. Tell you what, Hudson, do me a favour. Um, if you get the hydraulic cutters, just get uh, this driver's side door off completely as well, please. Stand by. Let's stand back. Yeah, go on, mate. Mm -hmm. Alright, nice one. Yep, yep happy. Alright, steering column's off. This off his legs enough. Okay. Right, we'll hold this off. Right. I'm going to say the best bet is to get him out this side now that we got this door off, lads. So if we get everyone around here, we'll start getting him extricated. Um, Storm, if you bring the backboard around here, please, for me. Yep. Um, Stevens, just stay where you are. 
Right, um, Storm, what we're going to do is we're going to just slide slide the backboard in, but we're going to slide it under his butt. And then what we're going to do is we're going to roll him onto his side, drag him up the backboard, and then roll him onto his back onto the backboard, if that makes sense. Um, right. Before we move, before we move too much, Stevens, just check his right side on his hip and all that, make sure he's got no weapon, just in case he does come back to. Um... I was about to say, is there any room to move it back? Probably not, mate, no. Uh, by the looks of it, negative. Perfect. Back to him. Alright, um, Stevens, if you just roll him towards you slightly so we can get this backboard under his backside. Nice one, thank you. Alright, plant him down again. What the fuck, local? Um... I don't even. Okay, right. That just went into a light pole. Yeah. Alright, Storm, if you just brace the weight of the backboard with Hudson. Uh, Stevens, mm. if you push the suspect's torso towards me, I'll take control of the, uh... The, uh... Well, technically casualty at this point. Okay, mate. Sorry, I was out of my head, what did you say? No, you're all right. Just brace the backboard with Storm for a second. Got it. Right, uh, Briggs, uh, just yeah. maneuver your way in between Hudson and the car. You're going to help me slide the suspect up to the backboard towards Storm, okay? Alright. Alright, backboard's ready. Alright. Oh, that's right. great. Right, Briggs, you ready? If you just grab under his arm if you can. Right. Words of command, it's yep. going to be ready, brace, and slide. Obviously, bracing the weight and then sliding him until he comes to a natural stop again. Okay. Ready? Ready. Ready. Alright, brace and slide. There we go, he's on. Uh, one guy side of a backboard. Give me one sec. Okay, let's just. Stevens, if you can just uh, manage his legs, please get him, get him onto the backboard completely. Okay. Okay. Right. I reckon in, we would take about five steps backwards from Storm's yeah. back, get him out of the white line away from the car. Yeah, well, Medic 11's ready. It's just facing southbound on Alta at the minute. So we'll be ready. Mm -hmm. Literally just transport straight onto the gurney at the back of Medic 11, and then it'll be gone. Storm, stay with the suspect, please. Okay. Right. On, on the uh, shields free. Yeah, okay. Right. So again, it'll be ready, brace, and lift this time. What we'll do, Hudson and Storm, you you guys would be the head of the backboard. Briggs and I will manage the uh, tail end of the backboard. Okay. Ready. All right, ready, brace, and lift. Lifting. User okay. joined your channel. Bring him over, right. Bring him over. Straight o straight over to medical eleven, please, guys. Alright, right. let medics take him from here guys, um, it's going to be head injury, hasn't been treated yet, um, just extricated, he's also uh, had his leg pinned so he may need to uh, get the leg checked for crush injuries guys, um, if you can take him straight to PBMC that would be appreciated please, and we'll put an LEO hold on him from there, cool, alright thank you, appreciate it guys, okay. Um, right. Head to PBMC and so get B shift over there, please, Storm. Yeah. Briggs, yeah, Briggs. If you go with Storm, please, just because I want you to get uh, checked out precautionarily as well. Um, I'll deal yeah, with uh, fleeting your pickup yeah. truck. Yeah, but, yeah. Gotta go to the body shop. It's fourteen kinds of fucked up. 
yeah, no worries. All right, you two skedaddle, and then, uh, yeah, we'll yeah. get this thing cleaned up. Cheers, guys. Shall I want to stop me one times county toe for a red two-door sports car. Uh, plate of 49 Kilo Golf Bravo 770 uh, used in a 1080. I can also get one times DPS tow for a DPS Dodge Ram uh, involved in a 1050 with the suspect vehicle. Uh, Steve, if you could do me a favour and. Yeah, if you could do me a favour, just start searching the vehicle for any items, mate. Uh, Excuse me. Clean anyway. I've just started doing that. Okay. Uh, it looks dull, yeah. so we might need CSI to check this out as well. It looks what? Sorry. Stolen. Yeah. Okay. No, that's well. That's fine then. Um, Hudson, can you run a yeah. right? Uh, Hudson, can you run a check on the plate for me and just see what this comes oh. back to or who it comes back to, please? Just checking the VIN while I'm here, so yeah. See if any results come back. Yeah, no worries, mate. Sound. No, oh, I lie. Okay. Excuse uh, me, one second. Local owner reports all the way up about an hour ago. Yeah, I'm getting the same. What was reported stolen? Yeah. Yeah, local owner. Roger. Cool, happy days. Cool. Alright. Alright, I'll deal with DPS tow for a sec. Hang on. Let me know when county tow gets there, please, guys. one just make sure you get an inventory of the vehicle mate if there is anything like so and then yeah uh, we'll start clean. cleaning up the scene it's clean okay it happy days all right no worries right as uh, storm going to pbmc i take it to see you to secure the suspect yeah she's over there now happy days okay I'll um, I might I'm head over there myself put... just to check on Briggs. Oh, well, I was going to say someone needs to head over there anyway because this was originally a DPS call out for the vehicle. Oh, what's it? Yeah, Stevens was the me. first one to call it. Ah, uh, yeah, that's correct. Yeah, touche. How do you mistake that for black, Stevens? Call blind. Yeah, take those sunglasses off. That might fix your issue. <laughs> Okay. I can see clearly now. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um. Let's get. Right. Let's get this vehicle towed out of the way. Let's get a squeak curb out of the roadway, and then we'll start opening the roads again, guys. I'm gonna head back to the PSH. Okay, mate. Chalo one, sand can be advised. County toes are right taking the vehicle. DPS toes cleared. 144's pickup truck. We're going to be uh, opening the roads here at Alteran Occupation at 7200. Tango 419 Jimmy 10 6 in route to toolbox. Other one will be the same traffic. Go 
God damn it. So it breaks. <laughs> Frost, what the hell's up with you? Uh, don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> we both. Wait, were you here when we came in? Yep. So we both walked straight past you. Yep. Amazing. Still knocked out and is uh, okay. Dead. Okay, likes. Fossil sure, 9 back out at DPS HQ and this band in the squeak of 5. Right, I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna go see Briggs, mate. Fast from 926, momentarily off radio. God damn it. First hour in, and we already had a pursuit. Which room did you say it was in? 378. Where's 378? That's 370. 369. Briggs, what are you doing under the bed? Uh, checking for dust bunnies. Uh-huh. Yeah, the nurse gave me the wrong fucking room address. Or room number. Uh, Said you're in 378. Seven... Yeah, you're in 370. Uh, oh, well, <sighs> you know, I can't read. Fair enough. Nice cowboy boots. Aren't they cute? Yeah, right. Are you getting greys in your beard? Getting old, man. I'm getting old. Oh yeah, you will do if you keep running into people head on like that. Hey, dude, I just I, honest to God, I went right because all traffic was black <sighs> blocking the left, and I didn't want to go over the curb, so Next I went right. You know. And I'm watching that traffic 
and I look up and I've got a red sports car in my grill. And I'm hitting a steering wheel like the airbags didn't go up or nothing. So I don't know what the shit happened. Fuck's sakes. I mean, we have the modifications that the airbags will go, won't go off from a slight tap like they ordinarily would. But they would still go off after a hit like that. So that's definitely a fault with the car. The uh, truck. Yeah. But yeah. That's Yeah, because I just, after I hit him, I lost steering. I don't know what I... I lost steering. I had no control of the truck. I just hit the <laughs> brakes, and I, I didn't even think I blacked out for like a half second. I... Yeah, no. Well, either way. What's the doctor said anyway? Something about you having a day off for it. Uh, minor concussion and extreme bruising to the left orbital. So they oh, didn't nice. find any. Uh, they didn't find any glass or anything for my sunglasses because broke my damn sunglasses. My Ray Bans. Yeah, it sucks to be you right now. Unfortunately, yeah. those aren't Pissed covered under. Up. Those aren't covered under the DPS policy, mate. <laughs> so no, sorry about no. that. No, I have to get a hold of Ray Bans. Awesome, if they uh, they cover that sort of stuff. No, that's all right then. Yeah. Yes, do you guys cover my face hitting a steering wheel in a pursuit? We cover the facial injury. We we cover all your medical. Just don't cover oh, the cosmetics yeah, no. of your, uh, well, glasses and stuff. Your attire. That isn't DPS issued. No, no. No, I know. Yeah, kind of sucks, but yeah. Unless they're prescription, but I doubt they were. No. Yeah, there no. you go then. But yeah. Um, uh, he, just, he just wants me to take day off tomorrow and rest and i should be good to go all right come, uh, next day cool um do me a favor uh mm -hmm. take this week off of work so just have it as medical and then uh yeah we'll see you back on next week if you if you feel good to do so mate <clears throat> south florida miami beach here i come yeah right just keep me posted obviously on your recovery mate as well oh i will yeah cool all right, dude, I'll leave you in peace then. Try to get some rest tonight, and yeah. then, uh, yeah, hopefully see you back at it bright and early on uh, next week's shift. Yeah, just wait on doctor again here so I can get an Uber home, so. Yeah. yeah. All right, dude, no worries. Just going to sit here and keep watching Walker. Yeah. My hero. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you take it easy. Later. Later. I didn't actually see that. Oh, God damn it. One forty four. I'm going to be uh, ten seven ten forty two to put change. Hey, am I? You all right? Yeah. Well, good news is Briggs got off with that fairly lightly, thankfully. Um, cool. He's already been signed out, but I've told him to take the next week off for sick yeah. leave. Just make sure he recovers properly. Okay, so I still haven't got a name, but the charges I've... I'm going to get them on is felony evasion. Yep. Uh, reckless endangerment, grand theft auto, <laughs> uh, and then reckless operation of a motor vehicle. Oh yeah, I'd definitely say it was that. <laughs> right, mate, I'm going to leave you to I'm going to get back out there. Sounds good. Yeah, just let me know once the report's done, mate, and I'll uh, sign it off for you. Will do. Tell the one I'll be code four ten six. All right, Frost. Let me know how oh. your uh, STD checkup goes. All right. Uh, considering I've been shot multiple times, it might be a while. <laughs> ah, figures. Tango Alpha one four nine. Show me ten six and route to uh, DPS HQ. I'll be 10 6 
User joined your channel. Be 10 6 for vehicle repairs. Uh, my dashboard's showing a tail light out. Uh, hello. Where's the interior? For oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, oh yeah. This is the Mile High Club, guys. So, um, yeah, it's a pretty cool interior, I'm not gonna lie. Um, the whole setting, like, Construction or the construction site's gone, with the exception of some port cabins at the minute. Okay, but to on 10, eight, break fire, fire, yeah, one, fire it's one. it's totally dope. It really is cool. To be honest. User left your channel. What, sir, what station User apparatus are we are we running? Mm -hmm. Yeah, station five. If you can get an engine five, roll up nine zero four five. I'm out with the BCSO on a uh, welfare check. Copy. Is it possible that I can run out of 11? My eyes are having trouble with 5. 10 4. I'm not gonna lie, the uh, doesn't, yeah, doesn't really do it justice looking from that view. But yeah, the Mile High Club, absolutely phenomenal building, um, phenomenal interior as well. Um, not gonna go inside it tonight because, well, it's, I mean, either way, it's a nice interior. But I'd rather show it off another time when it's actually got its. Uh, when it's there in all its glory, guys. But yeah, I'll just show you all of that's all the way to the top. And you can see I'm right at the top, right at the top of the building Fire there. one, two, engine 11. You can go ahead and disregard rolling the scene. The Mile High Club, so yeah. But that's it in all its glory, guys. Um, there is this entrance also, here, no, just, just in that corner. Look out for and then a up there, black motorcycle ride, potentially wearing all black. There is a front entrance over there, and then the car park entrance with the port cabin in the way, right there. So yeah, no, good looking, uh, good looking MLO to be honest, and it's currently being upgraded, or updated. It's a work in progress, but yeah, one of my favourite MLOs to have put in, to be quite honest. So yeah. This one's pretty quiet. Back in service. Plus, I'm going back out tonight. <laughs> oh, and now the uh, now the MLO is loaded in. <laughs> That's Hudson. Out oh, there goes Medic Five. Mm-hmm. Charlie one four seven nine. Four seven nine. 
I suppose we've got a plate on this motorcycle that's been Bolo Dewey or a last known direction of travel either. I was saying, sorry, it was a northbound on User Elgin. Your channel timed out. I believe it's going to be a Abraz reel. I've got a green motorcycle that's just rocked up here, so am I? Tell them, be advised, I've just had Ava roll past me. So it's on a green motorcycle. Um, riders wearing all black. Do you want me to give her a stop? Yes, yes. Reported that she's had a knee injury. I want to get medical to give her a once over if possible. Copy, I've got the bike. It's westbound for Spooch at the minute. Postal. Nearest postal 8063 westbound, generally towards the shopping mall on Vespucci. So far we got 479 and by looks a bit medical on route. Received, once you get through the set of lights, I'm going to stop uh, hopefully underneath the left quarter freeway. Hey uh, mate, just do me a favour, um, pull over underneath the bridge up there for me please. Dispatch, ready 5's clear on uh, 101's traffic, I'll be uh, in route. Got the one vehicle stopped, 8069 westbound Vespucci Boulevard underneath the LaPuerta freeway. I'm gonna have 479 and uh, medic out with me. And a uh, crazy local, apparently. <clears> Hi, <throat> right, mate. Team Ice Direct Wheel Shield, San Andreas Department of Public Safety. Just to let you know, this interaction is being audio and video recorded through body cam and equipment fit to my vehicle. Um, reason for the stop is we've just had a uh, report of a rider matching your description that's possibly um, got an injury. Um, do you have any ID on you that I could check, please? Okay, no worries. Um, do you have any weapons or anything on you that I need to know about? Any weapons, drugs, or anything like that, no? Okay, no worries. Uh, go ahead, reach for your ID, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like this might be the person as uh, Hudson. Hey. Awesome, thank you. Let's just cut to the chase. Have you been to the homeless camp just under the freeway recently asking for some bandages? Yeah, it's over. I think it might be you, over. All right, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get this medic over here to give you a once over. Just, just so concerned because obviously you requested to get some sort of medical help, but you went to the wrong place, really. You don't know what they've got. Yeah, Briggs is gonna be our uh, our individual. You're free to approach uh, if you want, if you need to, mate. Okay. Well, even if it's sort of, even if it's mine, you don't want to get an infection or anything, do we? Thank you. Hey, up over. Uh, you'll be needing this. Cool. Um. It's not a trap. Well, it is obviously a traffic stop, but there's no traffic violations, so that's as far as I'm going to go with my checks for. But here, mate. Yep, so good. Thanks for finding it. No worries. Over this uh, nice chief here is going to give you once over just to make sure things okay, okay? Nice chief's going to give you the once over, hey, eh? Hey, man, it's Fire Chief Briggs. We've met once or twice before you hurt anyone. Yeah. I was told you got some medical treatment by a not so medical person. Now, 
Yeah, where are you hurting yeah. at? So it. Perfect. Right, you mind if I check it out? See what happened? What? Why? Why does your knees hurt? No, no, that's fine, sir. I'm just having a conversation here. Dick. Yeah, you should probably have gear with that. All right, I'm just going to check it out, get it cleaned up, all right? Miss. We're going to take this off get this clean up. Jesus. I'm going to take an educated guess and say you don't want to go to the hospital. Alright, guys, I'm gonna clear unless I'm needed any further. No, good to go. Thanks for your help. No worries. Good. Watch Very your clear, left. guys. Yeah, I see ya. Tell the one I'm gonna be code for back tonight.